rabbit here. There's been a lot of talk about um, chat and GPT, so I thought I'd give it a try and see if I'm out of a job. Anyway, so my theme for today is logic analyzers. So I thought I'd go to chat GPT and help me create a video idea. So I, so I wrote a question, write a video script describing a logic analyzer. And I thought I'd go through the, um, the script that I got and see how it actually uh, works. So the first paragraph, logic analyzer is a powerful tool used to debug and analyze digital circuits. It, is, it allows engineers and technicians to observe and analyze the behavior of digital signals in real time. Yeah, factually correct. So that's great. Um, and the next paragraph. The device is connected to a circuit via a set of probes, which can be set to monitor specific signals or buses. The logic analyzer then captures and displays the digital signal values in a graphical format, making it easy to identify patterns and troubleshoot issues. Uh, yeah, it depends on the patterns you're looking for and the, and the um, issue one uh, is troubleshooting. Um, also, there's no mention of the fact that um, uh, modern logic analyzers can actually decode uh, bus traffic. Well, I suppose we can give it a pass on that one. And <laughs> it sounds very much like marketing spiel to me. Um, so, moving on, next paragraph. Uh, one of the key features of the logic analyzer is its ability to trigger on specific conditions. This allows the user to capture on uh, use it to capture only the relevant data and not to be overwhelmed by irrelevant information. Uh, yeah, it's okay. But of course what is irrelevant is... Um, I don't really know what they mean by irrelevant. Um, yeah, maybe the stuff before and after the triggering. But anyway, well, we, we accept that. Uh, Semi-factually correct at least. Okay, next paragraph. The captured data can also be analyzed and saved for future reference and can be exported to other software for further analysis. Oh, oh, it's okay. Uh, and then the next paragraph. The logic analyzer is an essential tool for any engineer or technician working with digital circuits. It allows for quick and easy identification of issues and <coughs> can save hours of debugging time. And this is again, it depends on the issue in question. Generally speaking, it's again, it's a little bit sort of key towards marketing spiel. Uh, yeah. And there's also a fine balance between software and hardware driven um, debugging in terms of time use. So um, in modern systems, it's a very, uh, yeah, blended and merged environment with, um, yeah, and even FPGA can be considered software. So yeah. I don't know, it's not always a hardware analysis that um, leads to the fastest solution in terms of resolving the problem. Okay, now the next paragraph. Uh, this is the one I really like. Uh, the video will be showing the device and how it is connected to the circuit. It will also show how data is captured, displayed, and analyzed. Mm. Yeah, it's really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> so no no specific logic analyzer, no specific instructions how to use it. Yeah, so basically the the work for the for me would be then to generate that information which is practically speaking ninety eight percent of the job, so yeah. Anyway, but um moving on, so I actually reformatted the question to a little bit simpler form. I said um so the question to uh, chat GPT was logic analyzer overview and use. And I just, that's the question. So let's see what it says here. So first section, a logic analyzer is a type of electronic test equipment that is used to capture and analyze digital signals. Oh, that's fine. It can be used to measure and analyze the behavior of digital circuits and systems such as microprocessors, buses, and communication protocols. 
a logic analyzer typically included as includes a set of input probes, a digital acquisition device, and software for displaying and analyzing the captured data. And that's actually a very good paragraph, that. Uh, even much better than the first um, under the paragraphs I got in the first section, first question. Input probes are connected to the digital signals of interest, and the acquisition device samples the signals and stores the data for later analysis. Yeah, that's fine. And then the software that provides tools for visualizing and analyzing the captured data, such as timing diagrams and state diagrams. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Well, then, of course, there's some um, bus protocol analysis also that should be included in that. But I'll give it a pause. Uh, logic analyzer commonly used in design, debug, and verification of digital systems. Yeah, well, I would say that's probably fair. So, um, did any of these, um, well, my two questions, and I, I kind of feel I tried other variants, but I mean, did any of this lead to a complete full script for a logic analyzer related video? Even, well, on a very high level and generic level, yes. So that one could just speak this text and then basically would have a, an overview. But I, I don't think it's really good enough for the level that I run in, uh, uh, often on this channel. So I think that a little bit more hands-on and in-depth would be more appropriate. So no, I don't think it's made me unemployed as a YouTuber. Um, also, I did a side activity, so I wanted to make a small program for the Arduino Omega to produce digital signals so that we could actually view those with um, a logic analyzer. And um, so I, I made uh, uh, two questions. Okay, yes, that was what I did. So I I made two questions, and I was, uh, write a program that bit bangs 16 bits starting from a digital port 22 for an Arduino Mega, uh, using the Arduino IDE. And um, pressed enter, and I got code, and if, if, if I had, like, really dirty glasses and you know, running eye, I, I couldn't really see very well then. Yeah, the program looks good, you know, it sets up the output port and it, there's a loop in it and it looks like it's writing like act one and or low and high there, but um, when one did a little bit more, like, just actually read the code then, now it will wasn't doing what I expect. So I actually was thought, okay, I'm being unfair, maybe I didn't make the specification good enough. So I, I wrote another one, another question. And I'll, and I'll put these in the comments if you'd like to actually try, and the link to ChatGPT. So if you'd like to run this or equivalent yourself, then you can see the result. Uh, write a program that bit bangs 16 bits on, a six, on 16 ports, starting at port 22 for the Arduino Mega using the Arduino IDE. Use only the ports on the same row as port 22. <laughs> that was even more of a disaster of a program. <laughs> I mean, well, it shouldn't be unkind, but I mean, uh, Arduino platform is very common. Um, bit banging is, is a very common concept. Uh, the, the programming language for Arduino is known for 30 years. So I was a little bit surprised that it couldn't do better. And um, I actually tried to help it. So what you're supposed to do is you, you can put in an initial question, then you get a response, and then you can actually, like, correct you. You can say, okay, oh, but you're doing wrong. Do this instead. <laughs> so <laughs> chat GPT stopped responding <laughs> to my chat input <laughs> as I attempted to help it <laughs> to correct the program. So I had to give up. So, yeah. Okay, so... um. Ah, I mean, I'm not banging on ChatGPT. I think it's actually going to be ultimately the the level that we're going to come to when we're going to be replacing um, Google's uh, search engine engine, the general search engine that we use on the internet today. So, because the, I think this will, on a general level, lead to more 
direct answers to our specific query questions and not have to like deal with ads and jump through hoops in terms of link clicking on several levels to get to the correct result. But uh, at least this, um, I mean, this was not the only trial I did. I mean, I did other types of uh, trials also, but I thought I'd make a more concrete example when, when just because I'd like to make a video about um, a little bit of, uh, you know, commenting the results from uh, ChatGPT. So, uh, you know, based on this and other experiments that I did on uh, not in particularly <laughs> concerned about the, my my YouTube career right now. But, um, I could see that this could be a career breaker for many um, of the 99% of video content that is highly uh, generic, like those that are just um, repurposing news or repurposing um, various types of um, yeah, sort of what one would call it light humor uh, or making um, children's videos or stuff. I think that this might be actually um, a tool that will actually cause those YouTube channels to run out of uh, runway. But um, uh, yeah, at least now for the technical side, I'm not that I'm not that concerned because I, I don't do videos on such uh, like this um, for the first question style write a video script describing a logic analyzer this on the level that it has described is not the level that I usually make videos I, I, I usually want to get hands on in the domain show exactly how it's used and um, yeah if it does such a bad job of creating extremely extremely simple Arduino applications based on a quite a detailed specification uh, it's it's faster to write myself now I mean, the one aspect was concerning about the programming is the uh, it's it's dangerous if you have an AI system that's going to produce code that somewhat looks like it's doing the right thing uh, that can that can lead to serious problems in production environments where, where somebody thinks they've produced code that's actually valid and it, it actually does some really strange stuff <laughs> so no oh, it's got a little bit of a way to go but anyway i thought i'd just make this quick video combine um description of a logic analyzer with um chat G gpt usage and uh yeah hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll see you in the next one